The second big issue we must tackle this year is our antiquated and unsustainable pension and benefit system. This cloud hangs over us and almost every other state in the union. It is one of the reasons New Jerseyans pay the highest property taxes in America. Nearly 75 percent, three out of every four dollars of our state's municipal and county budgets are driven by personnel and labor costs. Without reform, pension and health care benefits will increase by more than 40 percent in their cost over the next four years. Without reform, the unfunded liability of our pension system will grow from $54 billion today to a staggering $183 billion within 30 years. Without reform, the required annual pension contribution by the state will grow to over $13 billion a year over that same time period. Let's just put that in perspective for a second. $13 billion a year. That's more than the state now spends each year on its entire system of public education in pension and benefit costs. The choice is clear. Reform today or risk disaster tomorrow. Without reform, the beneficiaries of the system face a high risk of catastrophe which would place all of their benefits at risk. So again, I'm not proposing pension and benefit reform just to be tight-fisted. I'm proposing pension reform for the police officers who have served and contributed for many years, but who may find nothing when they retire a decade from now. I'm proposing pension reform for the firefighters who every day put their lives on the line to serve the public and who have the right to expect that when the time comes, the public will serve them. I'm proposing pension reform for the teachers who put in the extra hours every day to help their students. We now must put in the extra hours to ensure the system is solvent for them. The pension and benefit reforms I put forward are simple. They're straightforward and they're sensible. We must modestly raise the retirement age in an era of longer life expectancy. We must curb the effect of COLAs in a time of low or no inflation. We must ensure a modest but acceptable contribution from employees towards their own retirement system. And finally, if we can make real reform a reality, the state must also begin to make its pension contributions. Without reform, the problem we face is simple. Benefits are too rich, contributions are too small, and the system is on a path to bankruptcy. A recent independent study found that the pension funds of 11 states will be out of money by 2020, just nine years from today. New Jersey is one of those states. That is an unacceptable outcome to me. So to every beneficiary of the system, I am fighting for your pension's existence. And to the members of the legislature, I say, please join me in doing so. Now, as a part of our negotiation on interest arbitration, the leadership of the legislature promised to take up this necessary package of pension and benefit reforms. Now is the time for us to finish what we started last March. We should pass this package now, and if you do, I will immediately sign it into law.